my god. Where I go? Say cheese. Oh my god. Ah, ah. Very good conceal. Wait, so. I saw it's his It's really voice. small. <laughs> Sometimes all I think about is you. Hey gang, it's Annie and Jesse and Omi. <laughs> Welcome back to our Daily Dose of Chaos. Ah. Today, in honor of our heritage, Omi's heritage, Germany, we're gonna be making pretzels. Okay. Omi, why don't you tell them a little bit about yourself? Oh, come on. She's <laughs> from Germany. Yeah, how long have you lived in America? 56. 56 years now. She's 80 though. 81. <laughs> well, then why do you wanna be older? Don't you wanna be younger? No. You should lie. Can you believe she's 80 though? She doesn't dye her hair. Look at her hair. Her hair is still pretty. Flawless. She still has brown hair. Isn't that crazy? Hopefully me and Jess don't ever get gray hair. We'll be 80 and still have colored hair. Okay, start. Okay. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's time for business. It's like, it's like what's the quest chef show where they're like, ready? Begin. You have 20 minutes. So today we're making pretzels in honor of our heritage. Let's get started. We need a bowl to make said pretzels. In. I need a big one. Oh, this one's pretty. Let's do this one. I used to make salad. Salad. I used to live here. I went to college here and I used to live here. We need one and a half cups of warm water and my yeast. You're supposed to have everything prepared. But that's not what we do. It's the daily dose of chaos. We don't prepare. Jessica, you're Jessica now. The only is preparing us. Look at this. This is authentic Chicago water. <laughs> Yeah, you do you want This is how the pizza dough tastes good. I don't know, is that warm? Is that warm or is that just nothing? Ugh. One cup of water. Go back. What is she doing? <laughs> <laughs> she wants to do it now. It's like, oh man. Another half cup of water and then skizzers. Skizzers. Yeast. Not a yeast infection. Skizzers. Skizzers. How much you need? One whole packet of yeast. It takes a while to come out. You cut more. You cut the smokes whole ever. There's all the yeasties. I'm struggling because I haven't made pretzels in like a minute. And then we are gonna let it sit there for one minute. Let me count down. Do, Do the Jeopardy song. <laughs> Okay, so when I lived here, she watched Jeopardy every day, so I watched Jeopardy every day, so I know that theme song way too well. I got pretty good at it at the end. I started to actually know some of the questions. I think Jeopardy's really hard. It's been a minute. It should be foaminess. Now we're gonna like season our pretzels. So we're gonna add salt, sugar, and I think butter. A teaspoon of salt. I'm supposed to mix it. I will when I add this shit. We need to make sure people are being educated about the pretzels right now. A tablespoon of sugar. We need butter. And now we're melting a tablespoon of butter. We screwed up about the butter though because I forgot that the butter is supposed to be cool when you put it in. So after we microwave it, we're gonna have to wait for it to be cool. So maybe do the butter first. When I tell you to mix, I mean like just mix and move on and you're like... <laughs> like a witch making a potion. <laughs> this is what I am. Put your butter in the fridge. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. Coffee cake. Coffee. Let's show the cat is there. Who's cat? Look at her little baby chipmunk. I know. Cody, go get him. And what, so we can kill him? Is the movie going? Yo, bro, that's not a movie. Should, you should. You put too hard. I was busy. I'm carrying this entire show, Jess. <laughs> then you're the butter girl next time. You heard it here first, butter girl. Oh, look at my baby. That's my bird. How yeah. do you know which bird is your bird? <laughs> because one of them come early in the morning and is here all day long. Okay, it's her bird. Back to the pretzels. Again, do this earlier, but after your butter is no longer piping hot. It's a nice, did you check it out? Yeah, put that puppy in there, mix it up. Now it's the big guns. <laughs> now <No>. flour. <laughs> Thank you for putting me in my plate telling me that I am the dumbass. I shouldn't have showed you where it is then. Add the flour until it turns into a dough. Who would like to mix it? Here's your choice. That's all I am. Turn that into a dough, Jess. Make sure you don't get lamps. 
We don't care if there's lumps. How many cups do you have to put? Four. Jess is really learning how to cook. Oh my god, the kids are so <laughs> How are you doing, Jess? Surviving. Yeah, I'm tired. Okay, let's add more flour. Look at those hard muscles at work. Make sure you lift so you can mix pretzels. A lot of exercise has gone into this you moment this right order. here. She's very worried about her pretzels. I make a um, trudel and coffee cake. What's trudel? With streusel. I don't know anything about my heritage. Sometimes all I think about is you. Oh my god, it's kind of thick. Just guy need help. You want to mix for a little? My arm's dying. <laughs> You're gonna have some <laughs> my hands gripping. <laughs> well, the 80 year old woman can fucking mix. Like, well, we don't have my KitchenAid mixer. We're doing things the old fashioned way, like it's 1950. That's how they stay fit. Yeah, hurry. Oh my gosh, took it. <laughs> <laughs> if you leave anything unattended, only we'll do it. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna do it by hand. I go get it. Oh no, what's she get? It's a brain. Epilepsy. This is my epileptic brain when I see lights. You have to knead it for like 10 minutes. Sometimes all I think about is you. If you subscribed, I would think about you. <laughs> It'll get better. It needs to like knead and then it needs to rest, you know? It needs to take a little nap. Oh, she got the. Oh, I don't know how I learned how to knead. <laughs> she brings Bob Ross. Kate Gosling, the Duggars from Clay Class. Learned to play in high school. See, doesn't the bell already look better? Okay, bitch, stay up. <laughs> Be my arm. Do the ratatouille. <laughs> it's too cold again. <laughs> oh my cutting board, let's go! Yeah, girl. Woo! <laughs> we want every piece of dough. We're taking this to a family party, so we need enough pretzels to feed everyone. <laughs> How many pretzels you get from this? Twelve. Okay, that's about the consistency I like for my dough. Oh, that's actually really good. See, dough test. So first of all, this is like a really pretty ball. Like this is good. But then two, we got a little test that when you poke it bounces back. So it's how you know you needed it enough. It's a good sleepy boy. But we need to put a little bit of oil in there so it doesn't stick. He's a really nice boy. Good boy. Help! Me. Sometimes in the bowl that you made it in. Just put a little bit of oil so it doesn't stick. Woo! Look at this beautiful towel. It's the celebration of Easter. And I have to put holes. Fine, God, holes. This way you know oh, it's rising. While the dough rises for 10 minutes, we're gonna boil the baking soda to make the pretzels. You have flour on your nose. <laughs> Just cook it. Nine cups of water. Well, that's annoying. I lost count. <laughs> Get a big pot and bring it to a boil. Half a cup of baking soda. And that's what makes the pretzels like crispy like that. Sometimes I like it. I know some people who just bake their pretzels in the oven and don't do the baking soda. You have to do the baking soda. Just don't do the random things. Sometimes I'll just click it and see it. It's your birthday. We're gonna party like it's your birthday. We're gonna say Bacardi like it's Cody's birthday. Cause we don't give up. Cause it's Cody's birthday. Come on, Cody in the club with Corona, the beer, towel bell. Oh, don't forget to feed your dog while you're making the pretzels. Before we put the pretzels in the baking soda, we're gonna preheat the oven. Did you peek? No, I don't wanna peek because I want it to work. It's fermenting. Cause I've got a golden ticket. I've got a golden ticket in my heart. What? Our dough is gone, 10 minutes. Which kid was I from Willy Wonka? I'm Mike TV. That's yeah. Me. Cause I've got a golden ticket. <laughs> All right, so now our baking soda mixture is boiling. Let's check our dough, shall we? There goes the pretzel that I see each morning. Let's see if we can make a pretzel rope, shall we? You want to help me, Jess, and do one? Make a rope. They're actually going really well. Like, look at this bad boy. <laughs> how, how weird you did. I honestly don't remember. It's like something like. <laughs> 
it's it's happening. It's there. You want to make a pretzel? Do you want to do this? No. You don't want to roll it out like that? <laughs> what is this YouTube channel? It's just me making shit. Just it's like learning how to cook, just like you guys all are. There goes my that I see each morning. Like it nice and long. So how you make a pretzel? You take the two ends, like you're tying your shoe. You tie them around each other, and then you just lay it. Very easy. Well, then why don't you help and make some balls? No, I don't want to make 12 pretzels. I'm going to make some balls. We're almost done. We're making balls. It's not that hard. Go ahead. You can make a ball. No one's stopping you. Jess, you're learning, though. You could technically make pretzels. We did two pretzels, and then we did a bunch of pretzel balls so that we can share them. If you make pretzel balls, you can score them with a pizza cutter just to make them more like pretzels, you know, have the little X on them. Now we need to boil them. They need to boil for only 20 seconds, so I really need to like stand here and as it's happening like count. This is what makes a pretzel a pretzel instead of just making it bread. Do you think that was 20 seconds? So you boil them in baking soda for 20 seconds at a time. If you do it like anything more than 30 seconds they'll taste weird so you gotta be like on the ball with this. But see how they're turning yellow like a pretzel? There goes the crack and the icing. Oh my gosh. This is my time. This is my moment. Hi, Jessica. Now we get the maid cleaning up. <laughs> they're gonna be good pretzels though. Like, come on. Like, I'm telling you, they're not that bad to make them. It's kind of fun, actually. There's oh, the stinky. Go get it. Go get it. It's very difficult to get them out quickly. I'm struggling. Like, you only have like 10 seconds to get them out before they'll taste disgusting. Cody, poor already three times. <laughs> <laughs> they feel like pretzels already. That's what gives it the pretzel skin is baking it in soda. Like it has like skin on it. So we're gonna do a little bit of butter on them and then just sprinkle them with the coarse salt. Yeah. This one kind of worked. <laughs> <laughs> Melt some butter in the microwave like we did before. And then we use vegan butter, but you know. And then just brush them on the little babies here. So here we go. Be light, don't do too much. Getting to it. Yeah. That was so smooth. Okay, after you've brushed butter on them, take your little sea salt guy here and sprinkle the sea salt on them so they're nice and, you know, salty for people. You could make cinnamon pretzels here too if you wanted. You would just put cinnamon and sugar on them if you like sweet pretzels. So salt your pretzels. Honestly, maybe put the salt in a bowl and sprinkle it with your hands because that shit came out so uneven. And you need it to be like coarse salt, big salt. Okay, let's put them in the oven. Look at how cute they are. <laughs> We're bakers. 12 minutes. 12. 12. Oh my god, he's a baby. Oh yeah. Oh my god. I was like right on time. He's alerting us that the puzzles are ready. Pizza, Cody, you're a tough boy. Oh, look at how, see, this is perfect scoring. Look at this bad boy. Yeah, he's, that's exactly why you score them. Some are good. They look homemade. Yeah, when 20 year olds and 80 year olds make food. Together, we're 100. <laughs> oh my God, we didn't spray the pans. It's so chaotic. Spray the oh pan. Gosh. I did not spray my pan and they are dead stuck. Like dead stuck. <laughs> Big gun. Want to taste test it with us? Put some yellow mustard. Apparently Jess is gonna eat it with ranch. You're not even like proud of me that I made German pretzels for our family. <laughs> We're gonna all taste test a little pretzel together. Here on me. What? <laughs> ranch, it ain't good. Yeah. It's good. It's good. A lot went wrong with like them getting stuck to a pan and stuff. This recipe can turn out better. Like, you know, sometimes it's just luck and like what's going on. But it's good. It's just not 10 out of 10. I would say it's like 8. If you like pretzels, you'll like it. I think what it's good. Think? I like it. <laughs> I don't eat anything. 
that's good. I like the size, like a roll. It's good like for Oktoberfest. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it's almost Oktoberfest. It Thanks, good. Omi. Are you proud of me for making the food yeah. of our people? Yeah, very proud of you. You think Germany would be proud of me? You think they'd let me in their country? Sure they do. When you go with me, you, they let you in. Oh, okay. If you want to go to Germany, you got to go with Omi. Yeah. Omi's got the VIP. We're gonna go. Oh, okay. We're gonna go. We're yeah. holding you to it. Well, then stay tuned. Omi's gonna vlog. If you like Omi, Omi's starting a YouTube channel. <laughs> okay, now cut. We're gonna go on a little adventure and give our pretzel to a next taste tester. Okay, so I'm visiting my best friend Sarah at work, which you guys are about to meet, and she's gonna be our next taste tester. So let's see if she likes this pretzel. <laughs> are you guys here with my fucking pretzel? No! Yeah. Hi, my name is Sarah. <laughs> Sarah's my best friend since middle school. No, I like it. This is really good. Yay! Okay. I like the soft. I like them kind of soft. Mm -hmm. Bread is hard. <laughs> she got the cheese sauce. Is it Good with the cheese sauce. Yeah. <laughs> so my honest review of the pretzel really soft, but not too soft. It was awesome. I loved the flavor. It was crispy, not too crispy. I think that's a preference. <laughs> it's perfect. It's a perfect middle. Exactly. Please subscribe for Omi. Yes. For Omi. Thank you. Thanks for Thank watching, you. guys. Subscribe for some more chaotic content. Yeah, like this video if you like Omi. <laughs> Omi means in English grandma. Thank yeah. you for the lesson. Comment below your grandma's Oma, name. Oma Omi. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks.